fellow comic enthusiasts, welcome back to HC Comics, your gateway to the colorful and captivating world of comics. Today, we're embarking on the next exciting chapter of this comic series together, wishing you all some relaxing moments as we dive in to HC Comics Adventure, returning to the main developments of the story. In this episode, we start with the scene. What's your response? Didn't your messenger tell you? Was there something to pass on? Didn't he tell you that I had nothing to say? You. I never meant to let you go. Did you think I would stop being angry? If I saw the letter telling me that you meant to take me back after a year? How was I supposed to know whether it would be just a year or two years? What if she had become pregnant with a second child during that time? Would the contract period have been extended? Avie. Even if you really kept your promise after a year. Sway. I don't want to become the mother of your child and raise it. Only for the child to cast me aside while calling me my mother's enemy when they grow up. Remarried Empress. Nice. I don't want to become the mother of your child and raise it. Only for the child to cast me aside while calling me my mother's enemy when they grow up. He looked like he had never thought about that. That's why he wrote that kind of letter and even demanded a reply. Come, come, what's the matter? Well, your majesty, that woman. That woman? Are you talking about R-A-S-H-T-A? Uh. 0 0.20 million K-R-U-T-S. 20 million K-R-U-T-S. That's the amount I left for her along with the budget application. I advised her to avoid donating it under her name since this could lead to problems, but she ignored me. I wonder if she knows what she's doing. The second day of the wedding reception. I thought R-A-S-H-T-A would have understood that there was a chance that making such a large donation in her name could have unintended consequences. I thought about whether I should explain it to her in more detail. But I'm not responsible for taking care of her, especially since I was kicked out after being divorced. I'll just elaborate a little more. Just enough to make myself feel better. Your Majesty, may I have the next dance? Pardon? She must be taken aback since she wouldn't have expected this. Hum. Sure. Sound. Sound. Do you want to beat me so badly that you're resorting to this? I know you're doing this because you want to hear people say that you're better than me at dancing. She's drawing her own conclusions. Pick a dance that you're good at. Uh. I suggest that you keep Baron Londa close and ask Marquis Carl for help if you run into any difficulties. Marquis Carl is one of His Majesty's men, but he's fair and doesn't harbor grudges, so he'll help you if it's for the good of the Empire. Pardon? It's not necessary to avoid those WHO or after power and personal gain no matter what. They may seek different things, but there are talented people among them. However, don't keep them close and even if you do, continue to pay close attention to what they and really want. I think it would be best if you keep the person WHO chose your outfit for today at arm's length from now on. I'm not saying this for your sake. This advice is for the sake of the nation that raised me. What happened to the money I left you? Did you already give it to someone else? Get it back if you can. If you can't, make sure you support them financially from your own funds from now on. HMPH. I could go on to explain at length why that's necessary, but RASHTA has a history of pinning the blame on someone else. I showed enough goodwill just by telling her how to prevent the worst case scenario. E.K. My stomach. My stomach. Rashta? It's just as I expected. When we met in the gardens in the past, she insisted that my brother pushed her. I didn't ask to have a word in private, just in case. Though it doesn't seem like she's faking it, judging by how unwell she looks. Swish. Swish. Hum. It would be wise to call the doctor, your majesty. Lift. Step. 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 Antechamber near the banquet hall. Uh. She was just a little shocked. There's nothing wrong with her. It seems Lady Rashta and oh, her majesty was facing some pressure. She was being put under pressure? It's all because of the Empress, your majesty. The Empress threatened me. I'm scared. The Empress threatened you? What did she threaten you with? Uh. It's all because of the Empress, your majesty. The Empress threatened me. I'm scared. The Empress threatened you? What did she threaten you with? Um, Hayes. If I was threatened, that means that I had a weakness she could exploit. Uh. If I tell him that I made my donation using the money the Empress told me not to use. It seems something really did happen. Not that Navier would have done something like that. But R-A-S-H-T-A might have interpreted what she said as a threat. Hayes, get some rest. Step. Stir. Step. Shut. I can't believe we refer to her as the Empress. It's one thing for me to have said it since I was flustered. But I'm the Empress of this empire. 
How could His Majesty have been so foolish? What happened to the money I left you? Did you already give it to someone else? Get it back if you can. If you can't, make sure you support them financially from your own funds from now on. She gave it to me for me to lease, so why does she want me to get it back? It definitely had no name on it. And Baron Lanta said nothing out of the ordinary when I gave it to him. Why did she give me something I can't spend freely in the first place? She could have just given it to His Majesty. Every single thing she does irritates me. She's the worst. The remarried empress. Path near the South Palace. I wouldn't have needed to deal with RASHTA anymore if I had given the check to SOVIESHU. However, then I would have looked like I was trying to ask if he was really going to divorce me when I'm such a great empress. It would just have looked pathetic if I had caused that kind of misunderstanding when everything had been decided already. I won't have a reason to come back here anymore when I return to the Western Kingdom. So, it should be around here. Um? Russell. Why, it's your majesty. I was about to pretend I didn't see him and leave. What is it? It's a necklace. Jangle. It's a necklace with a little bit of magic infused in IT. Oh my. Aren't you upset? He's making the same expression he did at the reception. Duke is Rashta's friend, so shouldn't he be happy right now? If there's a reason why he keeps reacting like this, then it's likely. Do you have feelings for RASHTA? I'm talking about what happened during the procession after the wedding. Aren't you upset? Oh, that's probably something that couldn't be helped. Something that couldn't be helped. People are always like that. You can help them out plenty of times, but if they're not happy with what happened the last time you helped them, they'll turn their backs on you immediately and forget about how you helped them in the past. I'd ask him what's wrong if we were close, but I'm sorry for the intrusion. I'll make my way back. Ace, please allow me to escort you back to the palace. Hum. Today's the last day of the reception, we will begin the trip back to the Western Kingdom tomorrow, so I'm going to spend a lot of time with H-E-I-N-R-E-Y today. You've only been spending time with your friends since we arrived here. I'd like you to spend some time with me, too. We danced together just once on the first day, and on the day before yesterday, I retired for the evening after chatting with a few friends once R-A-S-H-T-A left due to her sudden illness. So I understand why he's disappointed. And yesterday, my friends came over to visit, so I stayed with them until the evening. Day, though, I'm definitely going to. Ah, uh, Navier. Is he here to have a go at me about what happened yesterday? I'm sure everyone saw what happened. I didn't do anything. What are you talking about? Aren't you here to tell me that it's my fault that the new empress collapsed? There's no way I'd have come to do that. Why would you say? Then why are you here? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Let's talk about this in. No, if you have something to say, say it here. My queen and emperor S-O-V-I-E-S-H-U. Come back. I wish that you weren't married to another man. Dum dum, dum dum, tweet, tweet, chirp, chirp, shake, shake. If my queen decides to give him another chance, Hayes, um. Come back. I wish that you weren't married to another man. We were married, after all, Navier. I wonder what she said in response. I wish I could have caught all of it since I was listening in anyway. But I couldn't hear my queen's voice very well. I don't think her response was very positive. Since Emperor Sovieshu called for her urgently afterwards. They may no longer be husband and wife. But she might still love him like a brother. Knock, knock. H-U-H-M. The remarried empress. My queen. Oh, I told you to come when you had the time. I was coincidentally taking a break anyway. It's obvious that he ran over to see me immediately because he wanted to know why I called for him. Theft. Sparkle. I called for you because I wanted to give you this. It's small. Shake. Shake. Open it. Lance. Hee hee. Open. Oh. This is. What do you think? It's cute. Did you knit it for me to wear when I'm a bird? Hee hee. I'll only allow queen to he balcony. So I can still come over as queen? If you're confident that you can put some clothes on. I prepared this gift because I felt bad about not paying him much attention ever since we came over to the Eastern Empire. It seems like he likes it. That's a relief. I'll put it on you myself if you transform into queen. Tap, tap, speechless, drop, squirm, squirm, up, hi. Oh my. Place, S-W-I-S-P, oh. Hee hee how cute, hum, oh, he fell asleep, how cute. Beam. I'm cute. He was sulking for the entire morning. But I guess he met with Her Majesty for the first time in a while and she must have said he was cute. Um, 
Hum. It's better than having him moping around because he's depressed, but. La la la. My queen adores me. I'm an adorable husband. Dun dun. She thinks her husband is cute? Kenna, what do people normally think of me? Why is he suddenly being like this? Well, you're smart even though you don't seem like it at first glance, and you're quite a serious person even though you don't appear to be at first. And you're quite a romantic even though you don't really come across as one. I don't want your opinion. What do the general public think of me? They think you're not very smart, not very serious, and not at all romantic. H-A-I-Z-Z. Once I marry my queen, we'll need to spend the first night together no matter what we decide to do afterwards. I like it even when her hand brushes against mine. But she thinks I'm a womanizer, so she'll have expectations of me. Will I get the chance to spend another night with her? If I don't live up to her expectations on our first night together? It won't be her first time. If she ends up feeling disappointed after finding out that I'm not a perfect husband. Oh. The Knights WHO when on the Knights tour returned. H-E-I-N-R-E-Y immediately prepared a welcoming ceremony. In recognition of the Knights WHO had completed their long journey. Nice. Handkerchiefs. Knights first take a brief rest at the sub-capital after completing the tour. Then they don their ceremonial clothes the following morning, and ride to the palace in a parade to mark their return. There is a tradition of ladies pinning handkerchiefs to their knights' chests. When the knights dismount from their horses after the parade, wouldn't it be lovely for your majesty to take part in this tradition? I should do this for my brother since he's not in a relationship yet. But, if I dampen the mood like I did during the wedding parade. You don't need to worry so much, your majesty. Hi, W-O-O-O-G-O. Because Lord Cosair is one of the most popular knights that went on this tour. Oh. My brother's at the head of the parade. Ah. Uh, and at the center at that? The formation of the first two rows of the parade is decided in order of popularity, your majesty. That means the three people in the front are the most popular knights. He's the most popular knight. I can't believe my brother has been granted that honor out of all those knights. Step, 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 raise, low. Ah. Uh, hmm. I thought that all the ladies would go to pin their handkerchiefs at the same time when the knights dismounted. Do I have to go first? Ace, Lord Cosair. Hi. Her Majesty. Sote. Glance. Sir Apron, I hope my brother can start to shake off his infamous reputation, starting with this tour. The remarried Empress. What do you have there? They're love letters addressed to Lord Cosair, Your Majesty. It seems the ladies WHO attended the welcoming ceremony yesterday were quite taken by him. They were? It's BQ's Lord Cosair is incredibly handsome and he did an amazing job during the tour. He probably seemed very dashing to the ladies. He's the heir to a major noble family in the Eastern Empire. And is also your majesty's only sibling. Oh, I feel like Lord hasn't he always had admirers? Cosair must have been popular in the Eastern Empire as well. My brother has been very unpopular since the age of seven. There's no way that rumors about his infamous reputation haven't reached the Western Kingdom. The people in this kingdom might think that the rumors were exaggerated, since they heard them secondhand. At any rate, if my brother's popularity continues to, I might not need to join forces with Miss Merlany and risk making an enemy out of Krista. If I could carve out a place for myself without turning half of high society against me, that would be ideal. Clop. Step. Navier. Hum. Navier. Grasp. Hayes. Your grace? Is something the matter? A butterfly. There's nothing there. Is he seeing things again? Hayes. It's nothing. Where I A N N O H S go? You should head to the Room of Stars. I'll take you there. Step, step, step. Chamber of Stars. Step, step, step. The gems are sparkling like stars, which is fitting given the name of this chamber. What an extravagant way of decorating the space where they receive honored guests. Are they flaunting the wealth of their kingdom? King H-E-I-N-R-E-Y. Congratulations on your accession to the throne, your majesty. Thanks. When the three of U.S. met on the palace grounds, Emperor S-O-V-I-E-S-H-U caught sight of U.S. and childishly decided to take issue with it, which L-E-D to a fight. This I-S-N-T-H-E first time I've seen the Grand Duke since then. I'd like you to congratulate me on my upcoming wedding, too. What if he approaches my queen? Queen. Congratulations on your wedding as well. Thanks. 
I'm sure she will look enchanting in her wedding dress. But the devil, did I just hear? Clench. I seem to have made an inappropriate comment in my desire to congratulate you. Please pay no heed to what I said. Think about how much you regretted throwing that punch at Emperor Soviesu. I have to stay calm. I have to stay calm. I have to stay calm. I can't call eyes trouble like I did last time and be forced to leave. I'm different from Emperor Soviesu. I'm not consumed by jealousy. My queen told me I was cute. Hum. The remarried empress. This is a joke. H-E-I-N-R-E-Y can't be serious. Your friend, Heinrich Alex Laszlo. Crumple, your majesty. If we preserve the letter from a foreign monarch in such a crumpled state, it'll essentially be showing archivists as well as his majesty's descendants. That Emperor Soviesu was extremely displeased after receiving a wedding invitation from King Heinrey. But then again, perhaps it won't come as much of a surprise to them, since other historical records will likely mention their relationship. Come back. I wish that you weren't married to another man. We were married, after all, Navier. No. I wish she had gotten mad at me instead. Why did she have to look at me like that? It seems the king and queen of the Western Kingdom want me to see them as a loving couple. Pardon? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, oh, it's about Her Majesty's donation. Navier's? No, Empress Rashta's. Oh, what's the problem? As you know, Her Majesty stated that she was donating 20 million KRUTS at the reception. I already asked Baron Lanta. They're imperial checks. That means Navier probably left them. Queen Navier. Then, does that mean she took credit for making a donation using money she had received from somebody else? As soon as she was crowned Empress? Well, if that's true, don't you think we should take back the money, Your Majesty? Let it be. Nothing will happen as long as I don't say anything about it. R-A-S-H-T-A needs to make grand gestures like that if we want those people W-H-O or unhappy about her to calm down. I understand, your majesty. It seems, his majesty still hasn't gotten over Queen Navier. But he also seems to be concerned for Empress R-A-S-H-T-A at the same time. I wonder, what kind of consequences this will have in the future. West Palace. Tweet. Tweet. Chirp. Chirp, there's a garden with a beautiful path for taking walks outside the palace, West Palace. And the interior design is elegant, West Palace. My room is always protected by imperial guards, West Palace. The halls in the drawing room are wide and fancy, West Palace. And my bedchamber has a vintage charm, West Palace. I can't believe all of these things belong to me now, West Palace. Before I got married, all I had was a room at His Majesty's residence. But now this entire palace is just for me. I'm going to have a baby and spend the rest of my life in comfort. And one day, I'll be able to see my child ascend to the throne. To think that I climbed my way up from the lowest rungs of society with a humble background. And now I'll be giving birth to and raising the ruler of a large empire. WHO will be descended from an imperial bloodline and WHO will be revered by all. An Empress WHO has the interests of the commoners in mind? The only things commoners have given me are contempt and mockery for coming from a class that's even lower than theirs. Ever since I caught His Majesty's eye, both nobles and commoners have been jealous of me, viewing me as a woman of an uncertain background WHO got lucky and managed to better her social status. But I was the one WHO won in the end. Despite all the contempt I faced, I've managed to ascend to the throne. And everyone loves me now. I don't care for commoners or nobles. But if I had to pick a group other than them WHO I wanted to support. Why aren't you smiling? Ah, 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 ah. Of course not. That isn't the case at all, your majesty. Then what is it? Tell me. HMPH look at her being flustered in the space of a day just because her position changed a little. Um, it's because the drawing room is completely empty. None of the ladies have sent you a wedding gift, your majesty. None of the ladies have sent you a wedding gift, your majesty. Clench. How did this happen? I've definitely heard that it's customary for nobles to send gifts to the new empress. I'm sorry, your majesty. It's the former empress is doing again. Grr. She I came all the way here and really upset me. It's clear that she must have said something about me to the nobles, too. It must be because she's angry that the people of the empire ignored her during the parade. And she must be furious that even the nobles treat me kindly now. 
Grit. She's so devious. I'm going to give her a taste of her own medicine. Crop. Your Majesty? Who I could have sent me something like this? Congratulations on becoming the Empress. Sincerely, E.R.G.I. Claude. The Remarried Empress. Nice. Your Majesty. I thought I'd drop by because I wanted to know whether the acacia I sent over is doing well. Oh. Please have a seat over here. Wow. How did you find the acacias? I really like them. Hehe, <laughs> do you think they'll bloom again? I'll need to take good care of them in order to find out whether they'll bloom and keep growing. But I'm sure that they're doing well. In high society, where one's true feelings are communicated through the language of flowers, acacias symbolize friendship. The fact that she said she doesn't know whether they will bloom, but noted that they are doing well means that Krista has no intention of becoming my enemy, either. I'll cut to the chase. Dot dot dot. Since we've both been through similar experiences, I don't want to engage in exhausting psychological warfare with you. It won't be beneficial to either of us in the end. Hum. I am also aware of this. I don't want to oppose you, either. But, I'd appreciate it if you could be content with keeping some distance between us for now. Keeping some distance between us for now. As you wish. Did things not go the way you wanted them to, your majesty? The outcome wasn't ideal. It might have seemed like she was agreeing to be on better terms with me when she said she didn't want to oppose me. But she also said that she didn't want us to be any closer. Krista wants to maintain the current status quo, which is advantageous to her. She wants to keep this distance between us, making sure we grow no closer or further. And if I were to get nervous and make a mistake one day, she'll try and avoid taking any responsibility and say something like, I wanted to get along with you, your majesty. She might have just been saying what she truly wanted, I think, but the outcome will stay the same if things stay as they are. I'll have to change tactics. Send Miss Merlanyya a basket of Cory Dallas's and Gilardia Pulcella's asterisk decorated with a butterfly ornament. Do it secretly. As you wish, Your Majesty. Grand Duke Kaufman. N. He came to pursue trade between the continents. Miss Rose, let's go down and. How have you been, Grand Duke? I don't think. The effects of the potion have worn off at all. I heard you had arrived and wanted to meet with you to say hello. However, I hadn't considered that you might be tired after the long journey. Let's resume this conversation after you've had some rest. He may be a grand duke, but it's rude of him not to give a single response to your majesty during your conversation. He's just very shy, so it isn't a problem. But, if it is true that he's still strongly affected by the potion, will he still be able to conduct trade negotiations with me? Your majesty, do you happen to know Grand Duke Kaufman? Are you referring to the duke from LUIPT? WHO graduated at the top of his class from the Academy of Magic? It appears he's here because of the wedding. The thing is, he left the Queen's Palace with a scowl on his face. But, hasn't he stayed at the Eastern Empire before? Something bad must have happened to him when he was there. We have to use this to our advantage, Your Majesty. We have to use it. Queen Navier is using her brother to win the hearts of the young ladies. But Grand Duke Kaufman is just as handsome as Lord Cosser. Plus, he has an exotic appeal, so we should get him on our side and have him win their hearts instead. The Order of the Shadow, also known as the Transnational Asterisk Order of Knights. Asterisk not restricted to one nation. You may need to leave depending on your answer. Uen Navier once saved my life. I wish to repay her for what she's done for me. Her Majesty saved him? Repay Her Majesty? How? You brought your division here to repay her? And you arrived unannounced? I could not send word in advance because I was in a rush to get here. Until with your permission, my knights and I plan to guard Her Majesty. Official guards are appointed to her. She'll be able to keep an order of knights whose main role is to maintain peace across the continent. As her personal guards, my queen is amazing. Uh, uh. I suggest you ask her directly. It's a N order of knights that is managed by an alliance of various countries in the continent of WOL. The leader of the alliance has the power to summon them in the event of an emergency. Ah, 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 ah. I see. That's good to hear. If it had been me, WHO had accomplished this. The flowers in the garden have bloomed beautiful. Why, haven't they? Arrange them in a flower basket and send it to Lady Navier. Omy, you're sending her a gift before she does? Why would your majesty do that? 
It's a great opportunity to enhance the reputation of the Western Kingdom. As the former queen, it's appropriate that I congratulate her when she has done well. It doesn't matter whether I like her or not. Ah. Uh. To her place she has no intention of becoming friends with your majesty. That's true. In fact, I heard she recently contacted Miss Merlaney, so they could meet. The order is made up of ten divisions. Three divisions only follow the orders of the leader of WOL Alliance. The other seven divisions ACT relatively independently. However, you're not the queen anymore, Lady Krista. So it seems that Lady Navier intends to make Miss Merlaney one of the people on her side. It would appear that Lady Navier clearly considers me to be her enemy. Had His Majesty married a lady from our kingdom, she would have been in the palm of our hands, no matter how impressive she was. Plus, His Majesty is widely known to be a womanizer, so a queen who had entered a marriage of convenience would have been powerless since she would have been overshadowed by mistresses. Yet neither of those things have happened. You might not be able to force her out, but you can't let her gain power. You can't surrender high society to her as well. What can I possibly do? I will either be ridiculed by everyone or make his majesty angry no matter how I deal with it. Ah. Uh. There's no harm in making ourselves look friendly. So I want everyone to do that. I'm here to repay you for your kindness, Lady Navier. I'm just happy that you and Lady Nian are here. I already feel supported just by having you both here. I'm sure you've already heard, but I brought my division with me. Please allow US to ACT as your personal guard. Does that mean, even if they ACT freely, I don't think they've ever acted in a way that wasn't conducive towards maintaining the peace of the continent. It appears that they are keen to return the favor. Ah, 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 ah. I've been wanting to see if I could beat them. Bounce this is really great. Bounce bag you're being rude to her majesty, Miss M-A-S-T-A-S. I can make the duel unofficial, then. That's not the issue here. This manner of repayment far exceeds the original favor. By the way, your majesty, are you not going to make Lady Nian your lady-in-waiting? 15 I don't think she would be able to carry out these duties. Hmm, that's true um. Your majesty, someone from the Eastern Empire is requesting an audience with you. Uh. If there's someone else WHO has come to see me from the Eastern Empire, then they must be. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. He looks so innocent. They're LED by someone that young? I've been asked to come here by Imperial Order to ask if you are settling in well, Lady Navier. I doubt that's all. Um, and. Ah. Uh. Confidential. Dear Navier, I heard that you knew that I'd be divorcing you in advance. It's a pity that things turned out this way, but I never meant to deceive you. I can't imagine how much of a shock that must have been for you. As you well know, we had not been blessed with a child for years, and it was unclear what would happen in the future. I'm sure you can very well guess how I felt, about not wanting to let my first imperial child that would be born during my reign be illegitimate, especially after my difficulty in fathering a child. It's my fault for not telling you the plan in advance and not asking for your understanding. But believe me on this, the current situation was only supposed to last for a year. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. True to their name, they rarely show themselves in public, so it's surprising that they requested an audience with me where they can be seen by other people. It's been a while since I last saw you. I'm Lander, the leader of the 5th Division of the Order of the Shadow. Ah. Uh, what brings you to our kingdom? My people feel uneasy because of your presence. A week before the wedding, foreign dignitaries WHO had been invited started arriving one by one. However, it's been a while, Princess Circe. The last time I saw you, you were a prince. Now you're the king. The I wasn't tasked with greeting the guests since I was the bride. Shut perhaps I'll take a quick break. So I could spend my time without being interrupted. Dot dot dot. Bringing in Lady Nian to take over high society was an excellent choice, your majesty. I was surprised she charmed the nobles of the western kingdom. By making herself the talk of the town. To think that she used the numerous rumors that have been circulating since she was at the Eastern Empire to her advantage instead of refuting them. That was an aggressive tactic that only Nian could have gotten away with. At the last party I attended, she arrived with two gentlemen in tow. It was so gratifying to see everyone stare at her with stunned looks on their faces. TWISH you had been there to see it. 
And now that Miss Merlany has sent over some flowers in response. I think things are going to be plain sailing from now on. A geratum flowers signify, trust, since she sent these flowers after receiving C-O-R-Y-D-A-L-I-S-E-S, -E which symbolize secrets, and Gylardia P-U-L-C-H-E-L-L-A-S, which represent cooperation. It means she has accepted my proposal to join forces in S-E-C-R-E-T. A lot of people have arrived already. Cast me aside while calling me, my mother's enemy, when they grow up. Did he think that I would not only become the first remarried empress in history? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. But also the first empress to remarry twice? There's no use in thinking about this any further. I'd like to go for a stroll since the weather's nice. Oh, the should I pack some food since it's been a while since we last went out for a walk? Go ahead. It'll be ready in a jiffy. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. Uh, Grand Duke Kaufman, Your Majesty, once I get married before them, please accept my apologies. I did not know where the boundary of the Queen's Palace begins, because it's my first time visiting the Western Kingdom. I'm only staying here temporarily. I plan to move into the Queen's Palace after the wedding. Oh, but still, blush, it's lovely to see you. Ah. Uh. Would you mind bringing over another basket of food, since this one is ruined? Of course, your majesty. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. I expected as much, but it seems the antidote isn't working very well. Do you think I can't neutralize the potion? Or do you think I'm not trying to? Chuckle, and officially become the queen, I'll be able to help the Western Empire in earnest. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Me? Ah, oh, it was me. I knew it. King H-E-I-N-R-E-Y would have hesitated to invite me. He made an odd remark and then followed it up with a shrewd observation. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Grand Duke, don't touch me. Your touch, will. Ah, uh, devastate me. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. In order to do that, I'll have to get through the wedding night without any issues. Ah, uh, 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 ah. Uh. Ah. Uh, you could still ask someone to take your place. No. I might have turned up uninvited, had you not invited me. But if this goes on, could you make another bottle of that potion? Pardon? You could drink that potion again, but look at someone else this time. You could choose someone WHO is less of a problem to love. The wedding night. What if I end up loving two people at once? It's painful just loving one person. I don't think I'll be able to cope with loving two people. This incredibly proud man became someone to feel sorry for. How is it that even a thought like that feels like a breeze on a spring day to me? It was like that from the moment we first met. Welcome to the Eastern Empire. She gave me a greeting that was a mere formality and looked very reserved, but deep down inside, she thought. He's very tall. I kept looking at her because I wondered how she's could sound so different from what she was thinking deep down even now. Even now. Come back, Navier, Grand Duke Kaufman, I can't believe he asked that of me. Despite the fact that I had clearly explained why I chose to leave. I don't want to become the mother of your child and raise it. Only for the child too. So, that wraps up this chapter folks. I'm concluding the video right here. Stay tuned for the thrilling developments in the next episode. And don't forget to show your support with a like and subscribe, fueling my motivation to bring you even more captivating comic chapters in the future. Until next time, happy reading.